How's it going guys? Uh, sorry for the late upload today. I will be starting the international challenge and so um, yeah I mean that doesn't necessarily make the video late right but that's that's what we're doing today. <laughs> it's the weekend that's well, that's why it's a late video because I post late on the weekends. So um, I do think that this Zygarde team is is probably the most viable team that I built this this you know month it was it became pretty obvious pretty quick that this Zygarde team is not something to uh underestimate and so we're gonna you know see what we can do i do think we'll see pretty good success uh we haven't actually played at all yet and it's the 19th so that means uh i doubt we're gonna see as much cheese but like i mean there might still be people playing that are that are not taking it seriously i don't really i don't really see it but um i did hear that there will not be points earned towards the uh in the re the internationals or whatever from this so this one i guess it's kind of fine to take it slow like this and uh you know take the hard way through i guess but next time we'll we'll probably try to actually jump in right away um i guess just to help boost our ratios a little bit in the beginning so let's see so yeah let's lock in the ogre team we will use Sorry. We will use um, Giga's team tomorrow. I want to, you know, continue showing my friends' teams or like other fellow content creators. And so, I mean, yes, we'll look at some IC today, but I want to, you know, I want to use Giga's team tomorrow. And then we'll, we'll kind of, you know, go back and forth. But there could be a lot of videos from this, you know? Shiloh. Okay, um, so I guess we're getting cheesed. <laughs> I guess we're getting cheesed. I'll take it. I mean, like, whatever. We just need to make sure we get rid of Rillaboom, basically, and then it, like, doesn't really matter that much. Um... We do need to be careful here, I'm gonna be dead honest. We need to be careful because, like, just the fact that they have Rillaboom, um, you know, makes this a little bit more serious. And they also have Nidoking, which might have a Life Orb Max Hailstorm. So we've definitely got some things to think about here. <clears throat> they start Mandibuzz for launcher, that's... I mean, if I really wanted, I could just not even Dynamax right now, right? Um... But... But what? But nothing. I mean, let's let's just get the get the ball rolling. So we go big boy. They could use Tailwind or something. I mean, like, you really never know. Nice. Nice.
I mean, Hall Launch is not gonna like win this game by itself, right? But that's cool. I'm surprised we're still facing Cheese um, at this point, but I mean, this is clearly somebody who this this is this might be their first match. I mean, like they're the same ranking as me. <clears throat> Bring in the Feeny, that's fine. The Feeny is fine. Um, I brought Kartana, right? Yeah. So let's just take out Hall Launcher right now. Um, I don't know if I'd rather max Quake or max Steel Spike. I'm just going to Draining Kiss and max Steel Spike. They might, um, yeah, Dynamax Feeny, exactly. Makes sense. But, you know, Feeny just... It just can't really do anything right now, like... They hit us with a close combat. Let's see if they have max hailstorm. I don't see it KOing either way. This won't KO. You're dealing with Zygarde, my guy. They do take us down into the range, which is good. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I feel like I, like, hold my controller close to the laptop, and I, like, you probably hear the rumble, honestly. <laughs> yeah, So, I mean, this is ultimately what this team was made for, right? Like, they probably have Rillaboom as their last guy, and we just get the power construct, and we just don't even worry about it. <laughs> I mean, we, we definitely target Rillaboom, right? Like, we're gonna target Rillaboom. Give me that grassy surge. Give it to me. So we max Quake. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, let's max Quake. And let's floral healing. Big boy. <laughs> oh god. It's so terrible. You can you can only help but feel bad for them. And we just KO even with the uh not very effective. <clears throat> it's a that sucks for them. I mean they weren't gonna win either way, but like it that is unfortunate, you gotta be honest. Right. So let's, uh, let's just Thousand Arrows, and let's just Trick Room. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's just rude at this point.
So they didn't bring the one thing I was actually worried about, right? Which is uh, Life Orb Nidoking. King. Because if Life Orb Nidoking King was faster than, than my team, that would have been really difficult. I understand why they felt like they shouldn't bring it, because I have um, Kyogre. But I still think they could have done that. Nice. Nice survive. They have draining kiss. No. Uh, that's good. It's funny. Funny stuff. Let's see how much Floral Healing does. Or I mean Draining Kiss. Yeah, it does like nothing. I could have Draining Kiss myself. Okay, so I mean the game still took us like 10 minutes to get through, but... I, I, I think. I mean, it was like at least like 8, you know? But, I mean, if you look at the damage output, like, we weren't worried at all. I forget what this Rose Tower music sounds like. <laughs> I say that, like, all the time. I'm like, what does it sound like again? Because I, I mean, the way I'm doing it, I can't hear it, you know. And I think I figured out why my microphone doesn't sound good. Um, ultimately, you know, I think my sound quality is good enough. But I don't use my microphone, the other microphone, because it crackles. And um, I've realized that I think it's because I, I have to use it with the adapter because I only have one USB outlet like it's stupid but yeah <laughs> um so this team is honestly pretty scary for me if we're being on it if it's honestly pretty scary for me if we're being honest I'm kind of thinking maybe we set up trick room they might want to set up Trick Room theirself, but um, I think if we protect... Kartana and Kyogre. But like, this is actually going to be a really rough game. Because I don't... I just don't exactly see my best lead in this scenario. Um, why not bring Urshifu, though? I mean, Urshifu is really good against certain things. So the reason we're bringing Urshifu is because Urshifu can wall, like, Lugia and other threats. But it's... it's... it's not amazing here. It's really not. So we want to see what they're going to start. I think that's Lugia and something. Okay, so they are going to go for a weakness policy. I would guess, at least. So I think the question is here, what should I do? Because if they have Ice Beam Lugia, which you can kind of like guarantee that it is, if we're being honest, that would be a problem, right? Um, so I could just Trick Room this turn 
I could just trick room and protect, but if I get it wrong, I lose, right? So that's that's ultimately the concern. So we want them to do what I want them to do, which is target Zygarde. <laughs> Please. Target Zygarde with like a max height. Okay, so we're gonna figure out if we win or lose right now. <laughs> because if they target Zygarde, we win, maybe. If they... Nope, okay, we lose. Yep. Um, so obviously I want a Wicked Blow here, but it's just they can Shadow Sneak to break my Sash, and like, so I should technically Sucker Punch. Um, what I want to do is I want to Dynamax and Max Rockfall. It's just, I ultimately don't see this going well. Um, because I didn't proc my policy last turn. And I was just too afraid of them having, um, max ice move. Which they might instead have, like, Aeroblast, max quake, calm mind recover. So they are actually going to Will-O-Wisp that stuff. Which hurts a little. Sash is up. We get fat damage. And then we max rock fall. This won't do, like, great damage, but the hopes, of course, is that a Wicked Blow will be able to finish it off, right? No, but, oh, god. I really, really needed to, to be, uh, to just go for the Draining Kiss. Like, it's bad. Yeah. We definitely wouldn't have gotten the KO, but like, you know, we could have sucker punched the next turn or Wicked Blow or like, whatever, and then we would have been able to kind of push forward from there. But they also have Mantine, which has Wide Guard. Um, so this was pretty much always going to be difficult, I would say. Yeah, they're just being annoying. I mean, it's a sucky way to lose, you know, but I guess that's what happens, like, you gotta play better, because they just recover this turn, like,
I'll give it like one more turn. But they're just going to recover. Wood hammer, okay. Earth power. Not my favorite move in the world. Yeah, this was just so much more handleable than I made it just because of that first turn. And this is why I don't usually go for Trick Room with this team, because you just don't need it. Like, there's literally no need for Trick Room. And the fact that I tried to go for it is the reason that I lost. Yes, their Will-O-Wisp would have sucked, you know, but... You should bring out Kyogre. And then we have to just Leaf Blade. And Thousand Arrows. As if I didn't literally know that was going to happen. We don't even have any useful boosts right now. We have nothing. I should have just clicked cancel like five turns ago if we're being honest like that would have saved us all some time but yeah it's bad playing They were like, you think the cheese is easy? Go up against this. And I was like, yeah, I could screw that up. Um, I mean, one restricted, but it doesn't, you know, we still have to take it seriously. I'm gonna say we lead Wim's Ogre with the scare, of course, being the possibility that they lead um, Wide Guard, right? Um, so I am gonna lead Wim's Kyogre here with Zygarde in the back. And then maybe we just bring Urshifu. Urshifu's not amazing here. Um, we just know that we'll catch them off guard. And we know that they don't have Ice Beam. Right, so there's that. Or I mean they don't have Fake Out. Lucario Zapdos, that's fine. They might click Extreme Speed, which would actually put a pretty big hamper in my plan. But, I don't think it would matter that much. So, I'm going to do the switcheroo. 
and I'm gonna do the water spout. But we really want them to not click extreme speed here. <laughs> like, like if we're being very, very serious about it. We don't want them to click extreme speed, bullet punch, like, any of that. Okay. <laughs> I would have liked to see how Zygarde did in that match. I mean, it sucked because I overestimated it, because, like, their team looked scarier than it ultimately needed to be. But, whatever. So now we just, uh, Dynamax. Tailwind and we max Geyser the Zapdos. And then all is well. Because they have Wide Guard. Maybe, maybe they have Wide Guard. But we will Tailwind. And we will max Geyser the Zapdos. Trying to get our controllers to not drift, right? the wide guard no wide guard or maybe we just go first with the wide guard. okay well hurts a little bit hurts a little bit Charlie. Charlie don't got nothing here. Big scary character. I mean, it is showing off the modes of the team, though, like, we are facing cheese, but we are showing things off. No cancels, they don't want to cancel, they just want to, they just want to lose. I wonder if forfeiting affects your ability to get the shiny burp. So we take that. Ranks did not go up as much that time. <laughs> we went up to like 1534 after the first match, right? And that was uh, definitely not that. But yeah, do let me know how your IC is going. 
I'm sure people have been facing some crazy stuff, both in terms of actually interesting teams and uh, teams that can be quite a problem. And, like, not serious teams, right? Like this, probably this one. Um, okay, no, this is, this is serious. This is scary. Um... The Amoongus is a problem. So, I'm going to just do the lead. I'm just gonna do the lead. With the Kyogre in the back. And I'm actually gonna bring Whims as my last. Is Whims a good last? Or is Urshifu better? I mean, Whims can get us out of a pickle if we really need it. Because <laughs> if they KO Comfy, we can just set up Tailwind, right? But... So in this case, we need to, first off, hope that they don't have a Sash Amoongus, because that would be the worst thing ever. And we just Drain and Kiss and Max Quake that slot. Something I could have done is maybe, like, protect Zygarde and Draining Kiss the first turn just to to scout for it because this actually will be pretty bad if they have Sasha Moongus. Like I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> like it's it's gonna be bad. So we really need this to pick up a game. It's not Sash. Okay, good, good. That's good. So let's see what they bring out. I could imagine it being... Okay. Well, I think they just lose right away with that. I want to... I want to max Quake the Zygarde. And I want to click Ally Switch. Like, yeah, they might protect, but their whole team is bad against Zygarde. And we don't see a protect. So this sets us up for a perfect position. Wait, what? What? What just happened? My controller made me hit the wrong slot. I mean, that's probably actually gonna make me win even more. 
but like, I was like, ex what? Excuse me? <laughs> Did that just happen? So they were probably going to click parting shot, and that would have made my life considerably more difficult. The good thing is we can tailwind. Maybe I did I I Either way we're going to win. the Dynamax. Oh, and I have a Jack button, which is amazing here. The Jack button is super clutch, unless they have Quick Attack. But if they have Quick Attack, I still probably win anyways. They're definitely going to, like, want to go out. Well, they're not going to get a chance to do anything. Right. Because we will outspeed them. This is scary for them. They didn't bring the right team at all. And what did they st Yeah, we needed to get rid of that Amoongus so bad. So we water spell and we thousand arrows. Sash is up. Sash is up. <laughs> But can you hit Zygarde? Okay. Um, I kind of want to stop, but I'll play another. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna end up being a long video, is the thing, like a like another fifty minute video, but. We could stop there. We will see what happens. I like using the Zygarde team. <laughs> I guess I'll take cheese as the last game. Let's bring Kyogre and Urshifu as our backs. We do need to get rid of... We need to get rid of two things. We need to get rid of Grimmsnarl um, and Rillaboom, and I mean technically Blastoise too, because it probably has Max Hailstorm, right? 
Um, could I just Dynamax Kartana here? Not efficiently. I can imagine them starting Blastoise, but if they don't, I mean, that's great for me. So can I get cheesed by the cheese? That's the question. Grimmsnarl Charizard, that's perfect. I might even just not set off my Dynamax this turn. And like start by it with a Draining Kiss. In the off chance that they actually um, have a Jack Button. Because like if they have a Jack Button... That would be really bad for me. No shenanigans. No shenanigans. Here at shenanigans. Don't burn me. Shenanigans. You guys know shenanigans. It's a it's quite the movie. Waiting. So I think next turn we want to get get rid of the Grim Snarl, like I was saying. Um, we just maxed uh, Steel Spike, the Grim. That's the Stoys, though. That's the Stoys. So we need to switch that up, and let's Quake the Grim. If they have fake tears, no good for me. But, we'll see, we'll see. If I'm faster than Blastoise, which in general Zygarde actually is usually faster than Blastoise, uh, that, that's fine, you know. They should set off like a reflect, or maybe they're just going to go for a spirit break this turn. Big crit. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with setting up light screen. Hmm. Well, you could do that. But I mean, the threat of Zygarde is that after it turns into big boy form, its, its attacking power goes up, cons or I mean, it's its bulk goes up considerably, um, and so even with the special defense boosts, once we get the big boy form, it's kind of like two more special defense boosts because you multiply your health by two. Like, <laughs> okay. I respect them trying to call the ally switch, though.
is that in the combi again? <laughs> For a second I was like, bro, don't do that. So, we... Hmm. Well, yeah, let's, let's floral healing. I mean, let's let's not... It's, we're gonna win anyways, but... I was gonna say, let's just let them set off the big boy form. They'll probably still set it off, though, which is my thought process. They got a crit. <laughs> They're like, yes! So I think it's good practice, right, because like it helps me think about what I would do to be more cautious if I was playing a more serious team, right? Because like, you know, going for that draining kiss on Grimmsnarl the first turn is not something people would always think of, but if they do have a jack button, that's like really bad for me in that scenario. And sure my max Rockfall might not pick up the KO, on the Dynamax Charizard, but are we really that worried about it? Like, nah. <laughs> yeah. Three keys, two regular matches, um, but all in all, I think we showed off some cool stuff, so that will be, that'll be today's vid. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we are going to have quite a few videos that come out of this, right? Like, at least six, I would say. Or, um, I don't know. Say at least six to nine, I guess, would be the right way to put it. Um, but, <laughs> alright, y'all. Have a good day, and, uh, yeah, till next time.